Hey everyone, it's Char from Char's Fashionation, and if you would like to see how I go from this to this for the Brood Beauties collaboration hosted by Makeup Addict 1992, then just keep on watching if you want to see how I did this look. So as you all well know, I always use the Juvia's Place and do that because it really does help to keep from creasing. Um, so what are we using today? Well, I think some of you might know that I will be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade. Um, I was looking for my brush for that. Where's my brush? But I do have smaller brushes in which I can use. And I probably just put that in here somewhere. Somewhere with all of my brushes. That shit is now lost. <laughs> and I also have this little thin brush here. So I know I have it, but okay so we are going to go into this what i like to do is this is i like to warm up the pomade make sure that your um your brows are in a good alignment take that in there now my hair is actually black, and no, I haven't col colored it yet, but I'm going to. I'm going to this week, actually. That way my hair is done before the weekend. <laughs> so, anyway, I have to say... It's not oily. It's not greasy. It's something that I can definitely get used to wearing. I could get used to wearing that. I just have to practice with it because that I don't know where that went. I don't know where that went. <laughs> you know what I mean? So... Although I'm going to have to say it did a good job. And again, it's not oily. It's not greasy. It's great. Um, get my brush that I usually use for my brows. Brows. And then we'll go like that over it. Ooh, that works. That works. I love how that, that natural blend right there. that blended nice anyway I could also use this um, I think in the next one I will use the creme shop holy brow um, so let's get this look going <laughs> um, so I have this palette and I have this palette and then I also have the defiance palette out here today but you know what else? Because it springs in the air. This has some pretty tones in it. So I will be using the Fenty Beauty. Um, why is it upside down? Seven day. Full, full slide. Pull side. I'm so, sorry. Seven day pull side. I need new glasses. <laughs> and uh, so... We're going to go ahead and start with this. Uh, do I want to do that? I scrubbed this brush clean and it's got green. So hold on a minute. I got to clean it. Okay. And then I realized I brought the Defiance palette over here. And I'm like, there is this gorgeous pink shade or peach shade right here. Right? So... We are going to be using kind of like 
peachy keen colors because it's spring and peach is very refreshing and there are some shades in here that I can use as well as using this palette which just happens to have a bunch of spring colors in it so might just go ahead and dip in to this and then we will dip into a color in the defiance palette so the first shade and let's hope this shows up on me because I always have problems getting peachy pink shades so we'll go into the shade right here maybe it's because the brush is a little damp which I'm fine with And then we'll get a non-discombobulated blending brush and blend that. And I'm trying to think of what else to dip into. So let's go over to the Defiance palette and go ahead and dip into the shade right here. Let's see what this does for that. Ooh, that's a little deeper color. I like that. I think that looks good together. Um, anything else in here I would use? Not at this time. So we'll set this aside and we'll come back into this palette here which is the, I forgot to even tell you, this is the uh, Celestial Love Palette. And we are going to go right into this kind of pinkish mauve tone. It's not going to take much to do this and just go right over that. And you see that color like really came out there. Ooh. Yeah, so it's blendy, blendy. And then let's go into the Scandal palette because I know that there is something in here that I want to use that is not in these other palettes. Um, we're going to go into, oh, this is so hard because this is so pretty. Um, we're going to go right here. We're going to place that right there. I know this is supposed to be one of their shimmer shades, but I do, however, like it. Um, so we're going to set that over here. Pick up another brush because we need to at this point. So we're just going to pick that up. And what I'm going to do is a cut crease. And the eyeliners that I will be using today are Oakland Cosmetics. Now this one I got from Mary Catherine Loves Cats. And this one I got in a box that I no longer get because y'all know. <laughs> You all know. So anyway, I'm going to finish my eyes off camera and then I will be back and I will tell you the finishing shades that I used. I'm actually trying to get the shade right here to show up on the lid. <laughs> like, it's pretty. It's pretty, but... Where's the payoff? It's not really there. It really isn't there. So, bam. So we'll just put that one aside. And then we'll go on to this. I know I said I'd finish it off camera, but I wanted to show you, like, it's like, what? Is the struggle real with that one? So what we'll do is we'll go back into the Scandal palette and we'll pick this up. Now that's gorgeous. 
this, I happen to know, has some payoff. Now that's what I call some payoff. With that, out of the scandal palette. Now, a lot of people say they don't like this palette or this company. Um, I have gave companies a second try. Usually I'm one and done. But I, I gave this company a try. I actually like this formula. Now I will um, finish my eyes off camera. I did put on my foundation. Um, which you all know I use e.l.f. So I blended these two colors down because my winter look, since the weather's still messed up. And uh, so yeah, let me finish this and I'll be right back. I forgot something, the Gerard Cosmetics Pink Blurring Powder. Like, how can I forget that? I love this stuff. Like, if you ever want to get a really good blurring powder, and it only takes very little, so very little. Just right under the eye. Just like that. And if you need to blur a few spots that you know you have your little problem area, Take it in there. Trust me, this does work. I mean, like you saw what what my pores look like under my eyes a moment ago. It don't take much. And there you go. I mean, there's that. And then we will be back. <laughs> so this is my spring look for this week's well, Brood Beauty's collaboration, and I will tell you, at the top, I used the red, and at the bottom, I used the black. And I think that worked out for the eyeliner. And then I took the Fenty Beauty to the cheek, and a little bit up here, I like this, and I did use the shade here and a little bit of that and I think that worked out I love that and of course I used the Gerard Cosmetics pink blurring powder I like look at that that is that wonderful it's $29 you only need a little bit each time you use it I only go like that just turn it and go like that and shake it back down now I have some extra in there I did use the Defiance palette a little bit. You saw that. <laughs> I do I do like that shade in there that I use. The shade right here. I do like that. Um, don't forget, I also use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade. I think that worked out really good. Like I said, next time I will also use this. Um, and then I used the Scandal palette. There ain't no scandal I can't handle either. Uh, did I use the Dragon Beauty lip color? Actually, I did, but I blended it. I did. I blended it with the Bella Pierre colors. And I think this look turned out really good with that. Um, and of course, you guys know. I used the e.l.f. cosmetics, and what I didn't do yet was, ooh, that feels good. Also, the Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day Setting Spray. Remember to go check out our lovely host, um, Alexandria Makeup Addict 1992. And also, our fellow Brood Beauty, Mountain Witch Christine. And what you know, I will leave them both in the description box. Go over there, check them out, and have no doubt that they have also brewed up some beauty. And look forward to the longer video of that being made. Uh, so, anyway... 
stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. Remember, no matter who you are, you too can brew up some beauty. And with that said, I will see you in the next one. Bye.